Right, alright, hello everyone. This is an updated tutorial on how to do AA in pixel art. Uh, specifically, this is designed for pixel car racing, but I'm on my computer, of course, as I can better demonstrate how you do this. Now, here are some common examples and types of lines you'll probably find. And here I'm going to show you how to do black to white and color to white, black, or color. Um, and I'll explain what I'm doing throughout the process. Right, so first of all, we're going to start with this line, right? This is a cross 6 down 1, cross 6 down 1, keeps going. Now, what I've done is I've chosen three shades between this black and the background white. This because you don't want to choose too many shades, but you can do as many shades as you want, right? But less is usually more. So, what I recommend doing is choosing three shades between the color of your line and the background. In this case, I've chosen dark gray, gray, and light gray. Now, to actually AA this, we're going to use what's called long AA, where instead of doing just one pixel of AA, we can use multiple. So, we'll start doing two right there. Go up the next shade. And you should go keep adding them next to each other, just like this. And now you've done that, you have just AA that line. So if you zoom out this far, as you can see, it begins to look smooth. It's very, it will be hard to see, but it does appear smooth further away. Now, if you were to want this to be a thinner line, and not have that additional width to it, what you can actually do is start the AA earlier. So actually remove some of the original base color here, like so, and add AA into the original line, like so. So you see, we're just going up the shades, but instead of starting at the end of the line, we're starting on the line. And what this will do is it will make it very slightly thinner. And you can get thinner than that, but I'm not going to go into too much into detail on that. Now, let's start with this next one, right? This one, what you want to do is, if you have like two pixels, usually just try and do one of them, which obviously is the one closest to the line. So what I do here in this case is instead of taking the darkest one and going up like so, right? instead of doing that, choose the mid shade. So that's why I've chosen three shades, is because now you've got a middle shade. It's kind of in between the darkest and the brightest. And you just add this on both sides. And that adds, oh, that's too far out. You can see how it makes it smoother. Now, you can add the brightest shade on top, like so. Oh. And this will improve it. But again, if you don't want your line as thick, using less AA shades will make it thinner. Um, we'll go to this example here. This one, we have more space. So again, I'm actually going to stick with this one, as this will, using this mid shade as the first shade, will make it a thinner line, like so. So that's fully AA, if we zoom out. You can see it begins to become smooth. Now, if you want this to be a more detailed AA, you would start with the darkest shade next to the line here. And because it's a, you've got three pixels and a cross one, you have more space to do this. The longer your line is going vertically, the more AA shade you can add. So for example, we'll take the darkest one here, the insides, and just go up the shades. So go to this one, go up a shade, go to this one, and it's your final shade, as it's closer to the white than the background is. But, of course, you can see that makes the line a little bit thicker, but it does give you a nice smoother effect. Now, let's get on to colour. What you want to do for colour is if you have a coloured line for example, onto a white background, you'll change the saturation of the color. So see here, 
this red, oh, the original line, that's fully saturated. The first shade of air using, it's kind of a third of the way to desaturated. This one's kind of in between. And the final shade is very close to white, but it's still got that tint of red. And you'll just use the exact same method, so just do one, two, like so. Do one, two again. And finishing off with the brightest one. Just undoing it quickly. There you go. There you go. That makes it smooth and blend with the background, just like the black line. Now, the only way this changes is say, for example, say for example, let's uh, let's do this on the fly here. Say you're doing a red to an orange. So you have an orange background behind this. Let's say it's uh, let's say it's like this this sort of orange. Oops. I'll just quickly fill this in. Right, so say you're doing red from orange, right? All you'll have to do is go to your red and just slowly make it orange. So we'll go to, let's say here, for our first shades. And just get it slightly more orange than the original red. And we have to get more towards the yellow, so now we'll go for this shade. Which is a lighter orange. And then we'll go for this more orangey yellow. Don't want to go too yellow, but just before the shade, you can see, you see that's too yellow there. Go a little bit lower, because you want your AA shade to be noticeable. If you can't distinguish an AA shade, it's it's too close to the background color. In which case, there's no point in having it there. But as you can see, that then makes a nice smooth line on a colored background, and this works for any color as long as you know what color goes in between them. So. Yeah, that's basically this whole tutorial on how it works, on how AA is done. Uh, for example, we can do a curve here. So I'll just do this on the fly again. So we'll do 3, 2, 1, 1, 2, 3, for example, right? All AA is. Now, this would be good for. It will actually add some extra insights here. This would be good for wheel wells on your cars or the fenders if you want to add AA to make the fender look smooth. So we'll take our shades put dark ones here and here, take our mid shade, here, 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 and here, and take the brighter shade, and just go all the way around like this. Now, as you can see, that did really does smooth out that curve, obviously not on the inside, the inside would be filled in black. And just to demonstrate that, just quickly uh, fill it in here with the black just so you have better understanding and a better visual uh, you know, visual cue of how this works we'll just put those back right. and we'll go back out and you can see it's smoothed out now, another thing you might want to do when doing curved lines for example is just entirely replace them this goes for more of a livery creation side of it if you're creating a livery you might make a circle and you can replace pixels with AA shades. In terms of a fender, this isn't so possible. Oop, wrong color. But in terms of fender, again, not so possible. But a common mistake people do make with curves is adding too many AA shades to the point where it actually gets blurry. And with AA, you're trying to avoid making things blurry. So here, we'll just shade this in again, and I'll make an example of what blurry would look like. So like this, for example, take the middle shade. Basically, the way you make AA blurry is adding too many uh, of your AA shades on. So here you can see, I've got two layers of the AA shade on here. And in a build, it may appear smoother, however, if you have everything else AA properly, this will begin to look blurry. And what you're trying to avoid in PCR is making things too blurry, otherwise it won't look good. 
However, that's really all there is to pixel art and doing AA. It's rather simple. Any questions, put them in the comments. Uh, and yeah, I mean, I'll leave a link to anything, I suppose. Maybe my socials, might do Twitch. Uh, put down all the links. And um, hopefully this helps you. I do hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one.